A Liberty County man is one of 10 American Navy sailors still missing tonight after a U.S. destroyer collided with an oil tanker in Southeast Asian waters. New at 6 o'clock, we're hearing from 20-year-old John Hoagland's family. As they wait for an update from the Navy, they say they're holding out hope that John is going to be found alive. Channel 2's Sophia Beausoleil, live in Cleveland with more on this. Sophia? As you can imagine, they're just kind of waiting for the best. And we spoke with John Hoagland's family, who's here in Cleveland, and we found out today that he actually grew up in Killeen because his stepfather was stationed at Fort Hood, recently relocated to Fort Benning in Georgia. So we spoke to his mom over the phone and an uncle right here in Cleveland, and they are all hoping for the best. Since he was five years old, John Hoagland has always wanted to serve in the military. He cares about people. He cares about what he does. He loves his country. Hoagland was in junior ROTC in Killeen, Texas, and once he graduated high school in 2015, he immediately joined the Navy. He became an electronics technician, which is what I was in the Navy uh, 54 years ago in uh, Vietnam. Larry Reed is very proud of his 20-year-old nephew, who was deployed with the USS John McCain in October of 2016. When we first saw the news report about the McCain and uh, the collision and 10 sailors missing, uh, we never had a thought that it might he might be one of the missing. On Monday, an oil tanker and the USS John McCain collided near Singapore. Rescuers are searching for Hoagland and nine others. And not to give up hope when we've asked everybody that we know to to say a prayer and pray for a miracle that you know he'll be recovered and be still be alive and healthy and as for Hoagland's mother who lives in Georgia, she's holding on to faith and family. I want him to come home. I, I want to know where he is. But I just I don't I don't know what to think anymore. And Hoagland's mother tells us that the area of the USS McCain that was hit was where he sleeps and where he works. But again, she's holding on to hope that he will come home alive. And as always, Bill and Dominique, we want to let all those know who serve that we appreciate all their efforts and we appreciate you serving our country and we appreciate their families who put a lot on the line as well. Reporting live from Cleveland, Sophia Bosley, KPRC Channel 2 News.